Xochitl Mora with the City of McAllen. Welcome to your McAllen Minutes. If you missed the McAllen City Commission meeting of March 11th, don't worry. Here's a brief recap of everything that was discussed. The meeting began with proclamations, celebrating upcoming events, and recognizing the hard work and dedicated service of various individuals. Commissioner Quintanilla was joined by Colleen Hook and Friends of Quinta Mazatlan to proclaim March 16th as Monarch Festival Day in McAllen to encourage the people of McAllen to have fun celebrating the longest migration of any insect, the epic flight of the monarch at the annual fun, family-friendly festival taking place on March 16th that features food, festivities, lessons, music, dancing, market vendors, plants, and of course, monarch butterflies. We'll see you at the Monarch Festival. Commissioner Ingram was joined by Transit Director Mario Delgado to help recognize the upcoming Transit Driver Appreciation Day on March 18th. Your Metro McAllen Transit drivers managed to keep schedule, check fares, provide directions, announce stops, summon first responder assistance, remember passenger requests and more, all while safely maneuvering an extra large vehicle through unpredictable traffic, tough weather conditions, and some really tight spaces. The City of McAllen wants to make sure it attracts, hires, trains, retains, and recognizes the best, most professional customer service oriented transit drivers in the Rio Grande Valley. Join Metro McAllen at the Downtown Transit Center on March 18th for snacks and festivities. Thank you, Metro McAllen Transit Operators. Under the consent agenda, commissioners approved a grant application to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Federal Emergency Management Agency under the fiscal year 2018 Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response or SAFER grant program. If approved, the SAFER grant will provide resources to assist local fire departments with staffing and deployment capabilities in order to respond to emergencies and assume that communities have adequate protection from fire and fire-related hazards. The grant application would support the salaries of four firefighters over three years. The grant request is $404,548 with a local match of $251,476 for a total of $656,024. Under bids and contracts, McAllen City Commissioners approved the purchase of various equipment for fire engines number two, number three, and number five for a total amount of $143,260 for the various tools and equipment needed to be able to fight fires. McAllen City Commissioners also approved the master plan design by Negrete Kohler Architects with authorization to proceed to schematic design phase for the Parks Administration and Metro Transfer Station project. Under the City Manager's report, Commissioners heard a presentation by McAllen Tax Assessor Collector Rebecca Grimes who gave a year-to-date tax collection rate. Currently, since October 1, 2018 through January 31, 2019, the City of McAllen has a tax collection rate of 83.47%, with a total beginning balance of $45,726,855.05, collected from real estate, personal property, mobile homes, and minerals. The city's delinquent tax attorneys, Lineboger, Goggin, Blair, and Sampson also gave a presentation on their year-to-date collection rate. Currently, from October 1, 2018 through January 31, 2019, they have collected $655,391 in delinquent taxes. Finally, city commissioners approved a donation of $1 million to the UTRGV School of Medicine for the opening of the new research facility right here in McAllen that will focus on cancer and diabetic research. We hope you enjoyed this recap of your McAllen City Commission meeting. Meetings are set for the second and fourth Monday of each month. We also air the entire meeting on the McAllen Cable Network on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For the city of McAllen, I'm Sochil Mora.